All right, fresh out the heels of Wakanda forever, and now it's to get back from seeing a movie called The Menu that you probably didn't even know was coming out. Don't worry, my friends. I'm here to tell you that The Menu is... It's something. Let's talk about it. The Menu. So The Menu is the newest dark comedy horror movie that comes out officially tomorrow. It stars Ralph Phineas, Anna Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt. And is this movie good? I want to say this movie is kind of a mixed bag a little bit because I'll say that the first three-fourths of the movie, spot on, I was into this movie. But then the ending happened, I was just like, ah, uh, this, this is why this, this movie came out right after Wakanda Forever. Like right in that gap between like big budget Marvel movie and right before the newest Disney animated movie that's just gonna sweep over the holiday Thanksgiving season. Yeah, this movie. The movie I was actually kind of intrigued in because I saw the trailer for it so much. I was just like, what is this crazy chef doing? He's got these people on this island in this kitchen and shit and what he's gonna torture him and shit like his saw or something. And I was just like, the premise alone has me like, Hmm, let's, let's see where they go with this. I will say that the movie is interesting and it is engaging. It is well acted in the first three fourths of it. It's just that the ending doesn't stick well enough to make you be like, because, okay, put it like this. This movie is a perfect example of why I say the ending of a movie is the most important aspect of the movie experience itself. But the last thing you're going to see when you walk out of the theater, you're going to be like, okay, the ending. If the ending is shit, you're going to be like, well, what's the rest of the movie even good? It's going to make you be like, Do I, should I even recommend this to people? You're going to be like, oh, I kind of liked it, but then the ending I hated and I just like, didn't like the movie. The pros and I believe that the menu is if theaters officially tomorrow. I think it's limited release, so you can see it, then check it out. Here's why. I'm adding the movie. The acting was so well done. Everybody crushed it, and I enjoyed it. Our main character we're following this movie, Anna Taylor Joy. Her name's Margo. Loved her. She pretty much our eyes and ears in this experience that we're going on with, with fucking crazy Chef Ramsay and shit. And seriously, like, Ralph, he killed it as the chef. Like, this dude was just like, yeah, he's just like, you know, here's tonight's dinner. Eat it or die. This dude was like off his rocker, but he was like that calm, collective, like, crazy shit like that. Like, with someone saying shit to him that he doesn't like, you can see, he's literally see it in his face. He's trying to, like, keep it together and shit, but he's like, yeah, pretty much. Overall, the acting movie was spot on. It was good. Margo, she was, well, Anna Taylor. She was good in the movie. Like I said, she was pretty much us. And the thing that she said to characters and her interactions with characters in the movie was like, that shit I would say. There's a moment where every time the chef would like, you know, be like, you know, okay, kids. Yes, chef. Here's the next dinner. He did that like five times in the movie. And about the third time he did it, she was just pretty much just like, is he going to do that like all the time? Don't his hands hurt? Really, what I was saying in the movie. And that's why I would get killed. Okay, plot the movie. M movie pretty much opens up like right there. And I love that. Movie opens up. You got a uh, girl from uh, New Mutants. Margo, that's her name. Margo. Her, Hank McCoy and shit, they're going with these other bitch, uh, I said bitch. Going with these other bunch of food critics and food, you know, entrepreneurs, shit like that, to this crazy island and shit like that, where you got Ralph as the chef, and he's pretty much like, yeah, here's tonight's menu, and we're gonna go through this entire menu, but, you know, then weird shit starts happening, shit like that, and next thing you know, these people are trapped on this island with this crazy chef, and they gotta endure a night of horror and torture and shit. But they're also eating some good food, so... What's the plot of the movie? The movie, like I said, is so engaging, it's so intriguing, shit like that, because it's like this mystery in it and shit like that, and the mystery involves Margot, and it's like, she, how does she fit in this web of dastardly deeds and shit? And I like that because it's just like, the moment you get on this island, just like, something's not quite right. Everyone's all, you know, like, super precise and, you know, like, sh 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 obey the chef. Or die. I love that everyone's so efficient in the way that they showed the food, stuff like that. This food was like, this food was orgasmic. I say, if you're a food critic or a food head, you watch the movie and be like, yes, that was awesome. Me and all the other little people were just like, yeah, those look like dishes that you would go to a five star restaurant and they would literally charge you $89.99 for a dish that's the size of your balls. I don't think so. The movie does have kills in it kinda there, there is some shock value like oh Disney's are coming holy fuck when shit hits the fan it's like okay gotta get in mode that's when the movie was like it's engaging and shit like that you know you're following the character you, you are invested with like I wanna see where this go I wanna see the master plan constant of the movie the ending like the ending is one of the things just like okay it's like building up building up building up and then it just ends like black credits that's it I hate those ending cause it's just like it's just like the studio was like okay we gotta end the movie somehow so let's just 
stop filming right here and then that's it. Bullshit ended. Today the menu was a movie that I definitely had a good time with, but it's a movie that I felt like it would have been so much better if it was kind of stretched into like a Netflix miniseries. You can really flesh out the characters, flesh out the kills, flesh out the smaller details in the movie. A movie that was just like, we want to kind of be like, you're next and the hunt, but we want to be smarter than it. But it's like, that doesn't commit to that idea. So you're just left with the menu. That being said, I really want to say that the menu is definitely a good six out of 10, which is definitely a good movie if you Netflix it. Okay, the menu's in theaters officially tomorrow. You're gonna see it, you're not gonna see a type of window to talk about it. See you guys in the next video and enjoy your weekend. As always, subscribe. Until next time.